Yo, what's going on, Frosty Squad? We are back here in Five Nights Tower Defense. So, we have an update. Today's the update. So, have you, for any of you who have not played the update, guys, it's, um, I think they broke the game again. So, what I mean by that is they did add one thing, which was the trading plaza over here. If you guys come to my left, they did add a uh, Abyssal Pack, exclusive Abyssal Foxy. Now, it's not 60,000 coins, guys. It is 50,000. I just bought it with Robux one time. But you can buy it with Robux or uh, 60,000. Now, what I mean is they broke it. Um, some of them, some people are getting it, some people are not. Like, as you can see, I actually got it. Uh, <clears throat> 592 exists. What I mean, people don't, or is not getting it, that means it's not showing their inventory. It's bug. Some units are missing from people's inventory, which is wild. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully, they will fix that. But, let's head to the trading plaza. I've heard the trading plaza is not working neither. I'm not sure what's going on with the trading plaza. I don't know if you can buy stuff or not, but we're going to try it out. Let's see what's wrong with it. Okay, um, so let's, for example, let me buy something cheap. Okay, so I did buy it, so that's working. But yeah, guys, the new plaza, you can actually buy stuff, which is crazy now. Or sell stuff. Here's everything I got for sale. You can actually click what you want to go. You can click uh, rare, uncommon. There's a gift. Um, epics. You can buy five of these. Mythics. It shows that everybody's selling everything for. Somebody's selling the new Abyssal Foxy for 5k souls. If you go to Nightmare, I'm selling mine for about with Shadow. So yeah, the trading plaza is really, really cool. If you guys haven't got on here yet, you guys need to, uh, um, <clears throat> whoever's, uh, yeah, the trading plaza is really good. Good way to make souls. I thought, I thought, it was, I thought it was actually selling your units for souls, but essentially it's still the same thing. All right. So without further ado, oh, there is two new codes before I start this video, guys. I want to show you guys. I believe one of them is just plaza. I think all caps for this one. Plaza. Boom. Next one is update six. You guys are ready? Like I said, I'm not sure, guys, if they did fix the unit thing. So you, got, you do got to try it. So if you guys buy the new Abyssal Foxy, let me know if you guys get it or not. They, like I said, it could be done over with already. Like I said, I don't know. But that's everything they added. I'm just kind of... Uh, it's going to be overwhelming. Next update, the 26th or the 27th. The new uh, military stuff, so hopefully this can be really, it's, I bet it's going to be really buggy. But this is the update log, guys, if you guys want to know what's going on. We got Training Plaza, one new unit. Marketplace and Plaza, new exclusive presence slash pack. Search unit, unequip all. Both fixes and more. Oh, okay, so you can actually search. Oh, nice. So you can't unequip all. So if I want to look for a Foxy, boom, it's all the Foxies. Glad they really did that. Now I think the next thing they need to add is an index. So Hyper, if you guys are looking at this, add an index. Really cool, really cool. All right, guys, we're going to try this new, uh, this new unit and see what it does. So... Click on it. So it's a burst slow. <clears throat> that's 40 to 60 damage. 50% 50 because I have Puppet's Nightmare. 16 to 35 range. That's just crazy. And 0 0.05. And 643 exists now. Um, Essentially what a burst slow is, guys. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm not really, I'm trying to think how to describe that. Like, it slows them down pretty fast. I, I, let's just, uh, that's the abbreviation, I guess. But let's go try this unit. Mm -hmm. All right, we're, we're on 33, guys. This is probably the best way to test this unit. They also did, uh, apparently they did buff the puppet uh, phantom cupcake i'm not sure how they bu uh, buffed it but i heard they did so ggs on them from buffing uh the phantom cup like i said i'm not sure how much damage it was doing before the the buff but i heard they did all right so 15,000. there is three placements guys on the new unit on this yeah on this new uh abyssal so hopefully it's really 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 good haven't got to use them yet but we're gonna try them out 15,000 to place not too bad I brought the endo too because I think he not not just not he doesn't always slow. I think he also does damage too, if I'm not mistaken. But that's what we're here for to try out this. Uh, you know, it could be mid, it could be bad. I'm not saying it's gonna be the best unit in the game, but we're gonna. That's what we're here to find out, ladies and gentlemen. So one's gonna be one's gonna be right here. So that's really good. All right, now I said it's slow, if I'm not mistaken. All right, now I, I I gotta go in camera, so I gotta see how it actually slows. I'm not sure what to how it slows. All right, so this is what it looks like, guys. Pretty cool. I like the dark, I like the black and blue unit. I like how they uh, did it. All right, so let's see. All right, guys, what do you guys think? Does it look like it's slowing enemies down? I can't really tell from this angle. Does it look like it's somewhat, not sure. Maybe a little, I guess. I'm not, I, can, I can't really tell. Maybe? Okay, it has like the little slow thing above its head, but that's still yet, that's still not good enough evidence. To, I mean, you guys can be the judge of it. What's it. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. I'm gonna max the rest of these out though. I need to max, max, max the rest of these. All right. So first playing at 30, I mean the first uh, 30,000, okay, so let's upgrade it, boom. 
Next one's gonna be 40,000. 50,000? Jesus, that's a lot. So I guess it does damage too. It's doing 160 damage every 0.05 0, 0 damage? I mean, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe let's put it on the, we'll put it on the strongest. My question is, does it slow the boss down? All right, boom. 75,000? Jesus. Look, but look at that range though, 52.5. So, so what is there, five? I'm curious how many, how many upgrades is there? Because next one costs 75,000, guys. That's crazy. I'm, I'm putting some puppets down just for the heck of it. Uh, I'll put some puppets down here in a minute. All right, boom. 52. Man, that is... Look, guys, it's covering the whole map just about. That's insane. All right, I'm not sure which way the boss is going to come, but we're going to... Uh, yeah. Yo, at this rate, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if, like, I'll be able to upgrade all of them. I will... Up, I'm able to upgrade at least one of them to the max, which I did, so that's good. Here we go. Let me upgrade a... Let me upgrade a Marion's Puppeteer. Here we go. All right. 15, 15. This is pretty good. I'm not sure which way the boss is going to come, but I'm not going to have enough money to upgrade all of it, guys. So, like I said, kudos to them. But you guys can be the judge. What do you guys think of this new unit? Is it good or not? I mean, wait. If it does 52.5 range, put it up with the Hawaii Endo, because I know Hawaii Endo does do range. I can imagine his range will be. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, does it slow down the boss is the question at hand. I'm not sure exactly what to find out. As long as it has that ice cube thing above his head, he slows the boss down. He does. Look how fall, look how look how slow the boss is going. So I think it does. Nerf, I think it does slow it down. I don't know if it does that amount of damage though. I do, does it just does it do damage too? I'm not sure. Then we got that kind of piece of information. We got 360 coins, one uh, blue remnant, and one crown. So we're gonna head back to the lobby, guys. All right, guys, back in the lobby. Um, yeah. That so that's that's abyssal foxy, guys. Let me know. Let me. Let, yeah. Like. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the new unit? Mid? It's definitely not the best, by all means, don't, don't get me wrong. It's definitely, I, I would have to put it at mid tier at, at, at best. It's not the best, by all means. Is it good to have on your team? Yes. If there's if there's map you can't, if there's maps you can't really beat and you need something something to slow down the enemies, that's it for you. Also, they did up, they also did buff this guy, so any map, any map like 1-4 and above that, well, you can have a thousand, I think it has a thousand starting. But yeah, guys, they did buff this as far as I know. So yeah, also, uh, start using Puppet, uh, Phantom Puppet, since they did uh, buff it. I don't know, guys, 50,000 or 99 Robux, you guys can be the judge of that. I mean, take it as you leave it. But, like I said, guys, that, that that's the showcase for Abyssal Foxy. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. But, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, guys. Turn on that notification bell. As always, guys, be safe, stay frosty, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.